best in the game. Scouting points are earned every week. Make sure you use all of your points. A portion of your remaining points will be lost when you advance the week. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Two wide receivers will be looking to be number one targets on the field in today's game. It's Thomas's Broncos going up against Allen's Chargers. So let's go down to Denver, Colorado, where Jim and Phil are on the call. Chargers, Broncos coming up here on EA Sports. A very cold day here in January as we get set for today's matchup. Hello, friends, Jim Nance and Bill Sims on the scene. This matchup today is a unique one. It's about as much about being healthy as it is about winning the game as the postseason is looming. How about it? How important will it be to win here today? Jim, you're right. It is a unique one, but we see it more and more in the NFL. Teams to get down the last one or two games of the year where they've clinched a playoff spot. How do you approach the game? Play your starters. Give them a chance to go out there and ex excel. But you also, as a head coach, got to know when that time is up and take them out of the game, the game to keep them healthy. The Broncos are back deep, ready to return to kickoff. The Chargers setting up here for the kickoff. We're underway here. 
Caldwell's got a chance for a return. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Osweiler's coming out now, and what an accurate thrower he is. On the season, he's completed over 70% of his throws. The Broncos have it at the 24. And Connors all over the ball carrier. The Chargers guessed right on the defensive side that time. They thought it was going to be a run play. They were all over it, and they got it in the backfield and made the tackle. Play clock's running down. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Here's a look at the Broncos' offense. This is an explosive bunch that ranks first in the league in scoring. The Chargers' defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. And he's going to be sacked. So, just three plays and out for the offense. Well, you just get tired of sending four, three or four players at the quarterback in passing situations. So this time the defensive coordinator sends the blitz and they are up for it. They get to the QB and get a sack. Danny Woodhead will return this one. Games 16. Rivers is going to march onto the field. He's had a rock solid year at quarterback with a rating that's over 90. Phillip Rivers, one of the most accurate deep throwers in the NFL. First down at the 48. Rivers finds Allen. That is how you draw it up, isn't it, Phil? Oh, man, a quarterback loves guys that can make catches like this, and they're just so strong. They know how to zero in. They never lose concentration, and you never see them drop a pass. And Gates is touchdown, Chargers. And, Phil, what a way to make a statement by scoring so early in this game. You know, Jim, I love making statements, and that's what this team did. They went out there and told the, the opposition, we are better, we're tougher, and take that. The Chargers getting set for the point after. The point after is good. The Chargers were very effective on that scoring drive, especially via the pass. Over 50 passing yards on that scoring drive. Tlaib's got it. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. The Chargers with an ideal start to this game. The defense making a stop on the opening drive, and then their offense able to drive down and get points right away. That's what you want to see. You want to see your whole team get incorporated into the game, and that's what's happened so far. The defense spurred things on. Let's see if they can keep it going. Anderson's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. First down at the 27. The reception by Demarius Thomas. That's his first reception today. When you run that drag route across the field, it is not as easy as it looks. You're running fast. You have to catch the football right in stride, and you cannot see what's in front of you. It's now second down. Trying to beat the play clock. Takes the hit. Throws. And here's the 
Chargers defense. Last week, this group came up with three forced turnovers. The Chargers defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Third down and four. The Broncos now move the chains, and they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Well, there's a lot of ways to get it done. Just remember, throw it to the open guy. You never know what's going to happen afterwards. Short pass that time turns into a long game. Good job by the wide receiver. First down and 10. Anderson's brought down after picking up six on. This play and that's the type of run I think this offense would take all game long Phil oh, would they ever they would love this this is this is showing your dominance here the offensive line doing a good job but also solid job by the running back picking up some good yards Osweiler set empty backfield the play clock's running down to Davis This tight end's very talented. He's a good run blocker and also a good receiver. Makes a nice catch on that throw. This next play comes from the 30. They better hurry to get the snap. Quick screen to Thomas. Going to take it the distance. Going to take it home for the touchdown. Clearly, they didn't let the early deficit discourage them. We're all tied up again, thanks to that touchdown. Oh, shoot, of course not. It didn't get to him. You know, this is a game in adversity, and nothing ever goes right, it seems like. But that was a nice drive. Puts him at... Puts them in a slot right now where the game is even, and here we go. The Broncos with a PAT to tie the contest. Makes the PAT. The Chargers ready to return the kick. Catches it at the two and starts his return. Tackled right at about the 28-yard line. 